This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. We're going to start with a couple things. We're going to do a cured citrus cured hamachi. Then we're going to have a little salad. In the salad, we're going to have a cooked salsify, which we'll serve cold once it's cooked and then we'll uh, slice it up, put it in the salad with some fresh spinach out of Branch Creek Farms. It all sounds wonderful. Okay, so, so where do we begin? We're going to work on right away getting our, our, our dumpling filling for our, for our, uh, for our dumplings themselves because that's going to take a little bit long, longer time. Okay. And then we're going to move right in and get our um, now we salsify. Have, we have Will working on the salsify. You just, you just peel it um, and then you just, uh, and basically the best way that I like to cook it is just braising it out. Okay. And then what you want to, it braises, when you're cooking it, it either cooks too much or just right. So what I like to do is put it into chicken stock, add some thyme, add some salt and pepper, and then just bring it up and then turn it off. Okay. And then let it sit like that. And then we're going to, with with the uh, with the pumpkin or squash, that whatever you're working with, mm -hmm. I would like to get the oil really, really hot, really super hot. Is this just hot olive oil? It's just olive oil. Okay. Get it so where it's almost smoking. What I like to do with it is just get it and only get it kind of one level because if it gets higher than that, what happens is it'll cool down the oil too much and you won't get that caramelization. Now we're gonna work on our hamachi and now mm -hmm. we're gonna get some beautiful flavors out of that. And I'm gonna have Will work right now. We're gonna get some zest working. Okay. And we're we gonna have use it. orange, limes. So all kinds lemons. of citrus zest. Yes, yeah. Okay. So that we're gonna work. We got a so hamachi. So now for the hamachi. You wanna kind of cure it really, really lightly. Okay. So you're just gonna almost cover it like a seasoning and then let it sit overnight in not quite 12, you know, like eight, 12 hours. So let's get this cured. The hamachi. Yeah. So this is salt and sugar? Salt and sugar, okay. so equal amount of each. Just regular table salt? Either, I like sea salt, you can okay. use kosher salt is good. So we got some nice zest here. So you're mixing the zest right into the right sugar. Into I'm it. sure it yep. makes it adhere and stick and yeah. so that it can then adhere to the fish. Absolutely, so then, yeah, you're just gonna kind of Mm -hmm. Rub it together. Okay. And you got this. We don't want to over season it, but we just want to a little bit on the bottom. Okay. So you want it to be able to be completely seasoned on the bottom. And then we're going to lightly season it on top. So we don't want it cured like, you don't like want a it smoked drenched. salmon or, or, or a gravlax, but we want it so that it just took, takes the mm -hmm. citrus flavor straight through the fish. Oh, and it, it will do that. It smells incredible, yeah. too. Really it's, does. It's really fun. fresh. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna. This really is nice, nice and color nice on color the squash. Here. So we're gonna add the uh, add the garlic and in there. And just whole garlic. Okay. And so you got a little fresh thyme, thyme. right? Yep. A little bit of rosemary. Rosemary blooms. Mm -hmm. I like. I love rosemary. Mm. It gives that extra sweetness to it. Earthy, woodsy. Yep. And then we're gonna go with a little bit of ginger. We have the dumpling wrappers here. So we're gonna just take a little bit of the uh, the mix here. Okay. And then. Um, and this is the end result of this. This right. So I'm gonna just take some of the dumpling. Maybe like Mix, a, a teaspoon. Just a little bit, yeah. And then a little bit of water. Okay. Okay. And we're going to fold it just like you would an angulati or That's or right. Like that way. Then we're going to touch the side and then we're going to keep it. Oh, almost like a tortellini. Exactly. All right. So okay. We've got so we got some, dumplings, got some dumplings here. And then what we want to do first is, is poach them off. So these don't take they're very long. They take about two minutes to cook. So okay. in the meantime, we're going to start a bear blanc for our, for our sauce. Good. And that we're going to start with vinegar, wine. And the shallots, you don't have to sweat. I, you know, just, they'll just grab some. And then we got a little bit of thyme, which I'm okay. going to take, take right off there. Right off the so little thyme sprigs. Yeah. And then um, we're going to let that come up, bring it down. And then once that comes up down, we're going to add a little bit of the butternut squash, which is going to create puree. a base puree. Okay. And then we're going to just fold in a little bit of butter, and that'll mm. be done. So that'll be the very last thing that we do. So we have a nice brown color on our That's dumplings. Right. They right. look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Here we're going to add our butternut squash butternut puree. Squash. Okay. And this is just a, uh, a good flavor. So we're going to let that work and come mm -hmm. down. And then the very last minute, we're going to, we're going to throw some butter in there. So that's sort of the base to our dish. Mm -hmm. And then we have a hamachi that's been curing. This is a good eight hour cure. Mm -hmm. We don't want too much moisture out of the fish itself. So I try to rub all of this off and then you don't need to season it after this. Take the hamachi and then we're gonna work our bear blanc. Go there and then we're gonna drop our dumplings right around. Oh, how can we forget about our dumplings? Okay. Beautiful. A little bit of horseradish. Oh, nice bite. Yep. And there we go. Very, very good. 
like to introduce uh, oh. my sous chef, Aaron Cherry, and he's also a student Hi, from Aaron. the restaurant school. Welcome, welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. It's yeah. wonderful to have you here. And Come and enjoy. So sous chef trained by the rest restaurant school. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, so delicious cured hamachi. Can't wait to try this, especially with all that citrus zest. I want to try it with some of your butternut squash. Chef, please, you Thank must you. partake in your work here. Mmm. That is perfect. Mm. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.